Hey guys, Nate here. I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, RC batteries. Uh, I'm, I recently did a bunch of research to figure out what needs to be the best kind of battery that I want for my new mini racing quad. So let me talk to you a little bit about that. So here's an example. I got uh, two batteries here, uh, a, a 1320 c Zippy Flight Max and a 20 c 20 to 30 c Discharge 2200 Turnigy. Now let me go ahead and let's let's talk about the attributes of these. So the first thing that we need to talk about is what we call the C rating. Now what is the C rating? The C rating equals a number, in this example 20 C, times the capacity. Okay? And in this case it's done in amps. So these are 1.3 amps and 2.2 amps. So if this says it's a 20C for the Zippy, this is 20 times 1.3. So that's the most amount of amp draw that this battery can put out. It's the max amp draw that this battery can put out. Uh, same thing with the 2200 except for it's 20 times 2.2 amps equals the most amp draw that it can pull. Now, if you notice this one said, they all say basically 10 more C gives you the burst. So it's 20 to 30 C because they all have a burst mode. And what that is, is about 10 seconds uh, of extra power. So for 10 seconds, these batteries can put out 30 C. So the 30 C gives you 30 times the capacity. So it'll be 30 times 2.2 or 30 times 1.3 max amp draw okay so why is that important so if we go back to my mini quad here right here um, we can see that I have four motors obviously and I'm running 12 amp speed controllers with a 15 amp burst so if I do four times 12 amps but again I have a burst so I'm trying to figure out the max so I don't care about the 12, I have a 15 amp burst. That means that these things can pull a max of 60 amps before they explode. Anything past 60 amps for longer than 10 seconds, my ESCs will explode. So it doesn't matter how big the C rating in is, it's going to explode right here. Boom. That's bad. So what is the C rating? As I said, that basically is the max amp draw. It's also, you could think of it as the pipe, right? How much energy can come through that little tiny, uh, the battery plug, uh, to feed the amount of amps that your ESCs are going to be wanting. So the bigger the C rating, the bigger the amount of energy that can flow through. So why, why is this important? Well, why should I waste my money on a nice expensive battery that has an 80 C rating when I don't even know how much is the max C rating I can get. So let's calculate that really quick. So if I have four motors at 15 amps tops each, that's max there. That's 60 amps that I can pull for 10 seconds. Otherwise things go boom, bad. So if we take 60 amps, and, and I wanna look at a 1500 milliamp hour battery. And remember, if you remember, that is your gas tank, right? That's just how much energy you can hold. So this equals 1.5 amps. So I'm going to take 60 amps divided by the milli the capacity, which would be 1.5, equals my C rating. So if we do the math, the most I can have is a 40 times a C rating when I'm using a 1.5 uh, milliamp hour battery is 40 C. If I pull, if uh, anything past 40 C, I'm just wasting because I can't draw that amount of amperage. Otherwise, my ESCs will explode. So why waste my money on getting a 80 C battery when I can only pull a max of 40 C without destroying my quad? So if I wanted to go a slightly smaller battery, 1300, let's say, that'd be 1.3 amps. I'd have to divide that by my 60 
amp max, right? Because I have 4 times 15 max. And that equals a 46.15 C rating. So 46.15 C, so I could get a 45 C 1300 milliamp battery, but on a 1500, I just only need a 40 amp. So what's, what's great about this? Uh, it just helps you figure out what you need to spend your money on. You don't need to waste money on an 80 C rated battery. Uh, a couple other things to consider with batteries is the charge rate. Now what does that mean? Well, remember we said that the, the C rating is the number times the, uh, a number times the capacity. So if something has, a good rule of thumb is to charge everything at a 1C. That means if you have a 1500 milliamp battery, charge it at 1.5 amps. But these batteries are getting so much better that a lot of the Turnigy batteries, especially the new Nanotech ones, can do closer to 5C. So if you have a 1000 milliamp Turnigy Nanotech battery, you can charge it at 5 amps safely. These Zippy Flight Max and these basic Turnigys, you shouldn't really go past 2C. So I could charge this Turnigy 2.2 amp, or 2200 milliamp hour battery, at 4.4 amps, and I could charge the 1300 milliamp hour Zippy at 2600. When I'm in a hurry, I will, I will probably go 80% of that two times. So rather than doing 2600, I might do 22, 2300 charge uh, amps when charging this 1300 milliamp battery. It does not do any damage, especially if they're, they're rated for a 2 to 3 C rating. And again, the, uh, uh, the nanotechs are rated closer to 5 C charge rating. All right, that's just the charge rate. And uh, so it lets you get things charged pretty quickly. Uh, I would definitely check out flight tests for their soldering tips if you do need to solder on your own connectors. A lot of the Hobby King items do come with the XT60, which are kind of the standard now. Uh, the last thing to consider when looking at batteries is weight. So, you know, keep in mind your C rating, you don't want to waste. You don't want, you don't, I don't need to go past 40C on a 1500 milliamp hour battery, so I don't need to waste money on getting a better C. So I'm going to try and get low weight, and maybe a 30 to 45C battery. Gives me a good punch. Uh, past that, I'm just going to blow things up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, hopefully I can try and answer them for you. Thanks.